Zany friend. I am Marshall. And I am Lainey. And today we have our August Zany Lainey uh, products and collection, as well as, you know, some little behind the scenes information we're going to give you and uh, more news about scents that might be going away. So if you want to learn all about that, then you need to keep watching the video all the way through. Um, this is August. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am wearing my uh, shirt that is themed to one of our scents, as well as earrings that are themed to one of our scents. Uh, the third scent in our collection, I do not have anything for. I could go get my TI-85. <laughs> um, yeah, I did. I have a t-shirt for it that I used to have and I got rid of it and now it's back in my, my wish list. But anyway. If you don't understand what we're talking about, we are talking about this month's theme collection, which is... Cult Classics. So, uh, how this kind of came about was we were looking for TV shows that we really loved that came from around the 2000th year mark, between yeah. you know, 2000 and now, basically. Uh, shows that were super popular with people, but like not, may, maybe not totally mainstream, although one of them I believe is very mainstream. Yeah. And as, I, you know, we uh, plan these ahead, many months ahead of time. And I was kind of laughing because at least one of these came up again that it's coming out mm -hmm. again um the other one i knew was coming out so i was like i wanted to do it this month and the other one is just awesome so and it's awesome and it's actor is very relevant love love him yeah. to death um so cult classics tv shows especially ones that we love marshall has seen two of the three yeah. Of these, yes. Um, I just, uh, I haven't quite gotten into the other one, and it just seems like it's too much. Travesty. It's a travesty. He thinks it's so dramatic, and it's not. No, no, I'm not like, like too much and too dramatic, but like too much is in. Wow, that's a lot of show. Well, I mean, it's <sighs> nowhere more than the other shows that we have. I mean, it's. It just is what it is. There's a lot more for him to watch. So maybe yeah. later we'll go back and watch it. I tend to find it to be a very calm show. Let's jump into that show. Uh, the show, of course, I'm talking about is Downton Abbey. And there is a movie that's coming out in September, which mm -hmm. is why I wanted to do this this month. Um, because I think Downton Abbey is still as relevant now as it was back in the time period in which it was done um, and set in. And... Yeah. Uh, I love Downton Abbey. So the name of this scent is called Hard Nutcracker, and it is um, a quote that the Dowager Countess played by Maggie Smith. It's something that she says. And uh, however, as you're gonna see right here, the artwork is not her. It is Sybil in her pants outfit. It was very scandalous that she got pants. But I love, I like, if I had to cosplay as anyone from Downton Abbey, it would be this outfit from Sybil. It is just so cute. And of course we have, you know, Colada dressed up at this, but we thought what's a really good scent combination is uh, for this would be tea, right? Because tea <laughs> makes sense. So we have black, uh, we have Earl Grey tea, lemon and black currant. So it's kind of like a lemon tea with a little fruity. You're going to see that this is very reminiscent of the Zany Laney scent, mm -hmm. but because of the Earl Grey, which does have uh, bergamot in it, that's what Earl Grey is made out of. Like, you know, I, I just realized, learned that like, what was that tea scent? Oh, it was Hamilton. The tea yeah. scent that with bergamot, someone was like, well, that's what Earl Grey is. It's bergamot. I know. <laughs> I know. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so what do, what do you think of the scent, first of all? I actually really like the black Ooh, currants. The just currants. Yeah, they, they just give it a nice fruity feel to it, mm -hmm. um, but it's not, like, super powerful. Yes. I like the Earl Grey tea edge to it. Like, it's it just got that little bit. Yeah, a little bit of bergamot. It. Yes. It's, it's good. Yes, I agree. Um, you can get this in... A spray, a scrub, and a wax this month. Um, I really do love this. I think this is going to sit up right up there with me with for Zany Lini the mm -hmm. same way. Tell us about the art. Oh, as you can see, we have uh, the Colada dressed up as Sybil. I actually I, I had some fun messing with the uh, the opacity of the layers to actually make it because the pants that she's wearing are kind of sheer mm -hmm. so you can see her legs through it i was like how am i going to do that and give her a hard outline like i normally do and i managed to pull it off i really like the look of it it's mm -hmm. really cute yeah she's she's adorable like that 
Mm -hmm. Again, one of my favorites. Our next one we're going to do is called Come On Son. Come and on, son. it is, uh, you know that's right. <laughs> um, it is based on Psych, which is one of my favorite shows ever. Um, of course, you have to have a pineapple. If you are a fan of the show, um, are you a fan of Delicious Flavor, Pineapple for the Road? Um, it's just so quotable, this show. I, yeah. I love it so much. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the show of Psych, uh, please, it's on Amazon right now. You can watch it for free. It's a good time. It's like a murder, it's like a mystery show. Um, Sean pretends like he's a psychic, but he's just a really good observer and detective. His friend Gus uh, is his sidekick. He's actually a pharmaceutical rep. And he's just like a total bro. Yeah, like, totally. He, he sticks with his buddy no matter what. Totally. And the two of them are always getting the hijinks. They have lots of backstory with each other, so they, they have a lot of inside jokes. Mm -hmm. And um, they just like pineapple. And the reason why there's a pineapple is I think it's actually in the first or second episode where a pineapple shows up and randomly Sean says, do you want a pineapple for the road or you want to slice up a pineapple for the road or something like that. And uh, so from then on, there has been a pineapple in some form in every episode. It's kind of like this thing where you watch the show and you try to find the pineapple. It's so like it, Exactly. Um, so it's called Come On Sun because there are all these isms that they say. So come on, son, is one of them. Um, another one is whenever Sean introduces Gus to somebody, he gives him a new name. Um, then also we have the you know that's right, which is uh, part of our scent, which is which pineapple cake and you know that's right. Um, because... <laughs> that's what they say. They yeah. say, you know that's right. Of course, come on, son, always starts with a click of the tongue. Come, come on, son. son. <laughs> I, I mean it. If you guys like any kind of mystery shows at all. If you like funny at all. At all. I'm, I'm watching through Veronica Mars right now, and um, I don't know why I wrote this up. It's also a mystery show, Veronica Mars. I don't know how I never watched this show before. Probably because it wasn't available online at all. Oh my gosh, I love Veronica Mars. But it's kind of the same way as Veronica Mars, except yeah. it's funny. <laughs> That's and, kind of you know, I saw one episode of Veronica Mars, and I'm like, hey, this is, like, Buffy, but w without the yes. without monsters. Yes. And I can do that. And it's like, everybody, like, we keep watching, we're like, oh my gosh, it's that guy, and it's that guy, and it's that guy. Like, everybody in this yeah. show is completely, like, someone you know now. Like, I was, I was just dying. Like, Tessa Thompson, for example, we're watching season two. Tessa Thompson is very hot right now, and she is, she is in season two, and we're like... Okay. <laughs> Had we watched this show when it first came out, I probably wouldn't have known who any of these people are. But no, seeing it later, we're trying to catch up for s the fourth thing, the fourth season. But anyway, so let's talk about the smell before we talk about the art. Oh, pineapple. Um, there is pineapple. Yeah, there's 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 so much pineapple, your nose is gonna get chunky. It's so pineapple and pineapple. cake and. Just, it's not a yeah. lot of cake. It's more pineapple. Oh yeah. Oh, but this is gonna but be good. But, but the cake also just gives it a layer of complexity. That it does. I really like. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's, yes. It's very good. All right. Tell me about the artwork. So I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, this is um, Hershey and Waldo that are dressed as Sean and Gus that are dressed as. Michael Jackson and I can't remember. The lead singer of Tears for Fears. Yeah. And there's a very big 80s component in this as yeah. well. There's a lot of 80s references and music. And they have guest stars from like 80s bands that are on here all the time. Which I believe the lead singer for Tears for Fears shows up quite a few times in this show. Um, yes. And one of, the, one of the episodes is that they are being fashion models. And so when they, they do one of their shows, they actually go up on stage and do a song. They dressed, sing Shout, yeah. Yeah, they sing Shout, <laughs> dressed as those characters. So, I brought that back. Yes, so. <laughs> makes me laugh every time I see it. Okay, fun fact, when uh, one of the seasons of Psych came on, um, they had this whole, like, contest, and um, oh, Corey loves to tell the story, um, where basically I had won from a, a people who were giving away, uh, like, a box set of some of the seasons and a comic and like slippers and I like a pennant and I don't remember what else but it never came and I kept talking to the people and it was one of those knowing what I know now about PR um it was one of those things where like the, the PR company had contacted this person to run the giveaway on their blog or whatever and the person did it but then the PR company never sent it out so I never got any of my stuff and it was like it was very sad and then that Christmas my husband basically bought me all the things I would have won 
um, as a Christmas present. And so I have, I still have a my psych sweatshirt. I've got a psych, uh, a pair of slippers that look like pineapples, and I've got bobbleheads, which you can see back there. I think it, they're either back there or they're downstairs. Yeah, they're they're in there. They're back there. So it's two bobbleheads, and like it's Sean and Gus that are like fist bumping, and like if you hit the button, it says I think it says you know that's right or yeah. come on son or something like that. So I've got that back there. I love the show. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great show and an amazing scent that goes with it. And you can get that in all three types of mm -hmm. fragrance as well. Let's talk about our next one. It is it is from Chuck, which I love Zach Levi. And this, I think this show really like showcased what he could do. Um, as you can tell, we really like shows that are like in ensembles. Like you're gonna you're gonna yeah. see that especially next month, which I will tell you about when we get there. Um, but it, I love. I love this show. It is also kind of mystery spy like. Uh, if you've never seen Chuck, it is about this basically nerdy guy um, who works at what they call a buy more, which is like a Best Buy. Yeah. And he works at as part of the nerd herd. Um, and he fixes computers. But then something happens, and a friend that he had in college who was an undercover spy basically downloads, and I can't tell you how, you have to watch the show, downloads a bunch of information from the CIA into his brain. So when he... He doesn't have access to it all the time. No, but he so can it, flash. And yeah, it comes he gets out the info. Yeah. So then he starts working with the CIA and the uh, FBI together in this whole joint task force to try to find these uh, different criminals that happen um, at, while still trying to work at the Bymore. So... Um, yeah, we decided that this was going to be Hazelnuts, Banana, and Froyo. And the reason why we do that is one of the other girls who's an undercover spy that works with him has to get a job near him so, to kind of protect him. So even though there's a lot of inclination to the place she works, which is like right across the parking lot from the Buy More, the first one she works at is the Froyo place. So we thought, okay, this would be really good to have kind of a Froyo scent with toppings. So bananas and hazelnuts on top of that. It's, yeah, I, I really like this scent because it, it smells like you just walked into a Froyo place. It's called Stay in the Car. I forgot to say that. Stay <laughs> in the Car. The reason why is because when, when the agents all go to their place, wherever they're going, um, they take this nerd herd mobile mm -hmm. most of the time. And um, they're always like, stay in the car, Chuck. And he's always like, oh, I gotta stay in the car. So most of the time he doesn't stay in the car. <laughs> Like ever. And whenever so, he like, does stay in the car, bad things happen. Bad things. So uh, stay in the car. I really like the bananas and the froyo mm -hmm. scent of this. Mm, what about what about the art? Let's talk about the art. So this actually has, you know, it has Zane dressed up as that character. You have, you even have, really, if you look really closely, mm -hmm. you've got his ID tag, and he's holding a phone that has the the logo for Nerd Herd on there. Mm -hmm. um, it it's very close to the character. I think. Yeah, and if you look at the font, this is also funny. Mm -hmm. um, and if you watch Chuck, their font is that really old, like, label maker that would, like, mm -hmm. punch through a little bit. You know what I'm talking about, right? A very 80s. Um, so that is what kind of what the font is reminiscent of. I think it's really it's But really also fun. throughout the, the logo sequence, throughout that opening credits, you have this nerd herd icon guy running all over the font, and you can see that, that nerd herd guy jumping off the end of the R. Mm. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, our next set is actually the Creative set. This was uh, made by a member of our community who also happens to be a rep, um, and she decided she wanted to create a scent based on Boy Meets World. So we have Boy Meets Hawaii, and that is because as you can see right there, the little boy is dressed uh, for the Hawaiian episode that they have. But this is the lemon, coconut, and cake. Uh, she really wanted it to smell like, kind of tropical, but like a lemon, coconut, cake. Um, Corey loves the show. He also watches uh, Girl Meets World when it was on as well. I have only seen a couple episodes way back when, um, but I do really like Boy Meets World. I think it's a really fun show. Mm -hmm. um, so smell, how does it smell? I, I really, I enjoy it. It's got a lot more cake in it, but the coconut and the lemon are kind of there flowing around. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good. It is good. It's like a lemon coconut cake. Oh, that's really good. Another one of my favorites. Okay, tell me about this art that you did here. Well, this is kind of the month of Zane. Mm -hmm. um, so you see him dressed up as Corey from the episode 
uh, where they go to Hawaii and he starts carving, carving coconut heads. So he's dressed in that outfit, but he's also got a Hershey head that he's made out of a coconut. With mm -hmm. some more coconut add-ons for the end. And if you see the the words at the top too, that is very Boy Meets World. What happens mm, at the yeah. beginning of the the credits? But oh gosh, this is good. And I'm going to I I might steal all of these actually. Like these are all these are really good. All good. Like they're they're good intense, but not destroyer sense. Mm -hmm. We we have had yes. scents that are destroyers of worlds. <laughs> kind of had yes. Our next scent is a. Uh, was basically our, our top seller for the month of April or May. I don't remember. Um, and it is made by, oh, I forgot to say that Boy Meets Hawaii was made by Heather. And this scent is made by Meg. And uh, she wanted something based on Secret Life of Pets 2. I have never seen either one, even though I should because I work at Universal and bad employee. But yeah, I will. And it's on Netflix. So. It is on Netflix. We just haven't had time to watch it. I, I am going to watch it though because I think it's kind of a funny interesting premise. Mm -hmm. So Secret Life of Pets either has come out or is coming out like very shortly here in a couple weeks. Um, and she said that there was a, a part in the trailer where the dog like hit a fruit bowl. So she really wanted this to smell that like fruit. Like a fruit bowl. You're, you know, it's in your kitchen type thing. So she called it Now Sit. And while I was putting these scents together, I was like, you know, this is a really good smell. I really like how this is coming out. It's really good. Why does this have anything to do with the... Uh, now it makes sense. Mm -hmm. And this is really good. Oh, so fruity. So it, great. It brings out a lot of apple, but the pears are in there. there there's... Mm -hmm. I, I know that there's grape. I'm not catching that as strongly, but the yeah. apple and the pear are really so strong. So good. Really Oh gosh. Really tasty. I'm still in this one too. It's a good thing we made a little extra this month so yeah. that you could have it. Mm -hmm. um, and the artwork, you have uh, Hershey and he's wearing the cone of shame and he is not happy about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that's this one of the... Eyes. <laughs> yeah, this is, I, I normally don't edit Hershey all that much, but this time I had to. Like I was just like... <laughs> And he's even like shaking his fist at you. He's wearing the, the sign. Uh, one of the ads has the main dog wearing the cone of shame and a sign that says, don't laugh. <laughs> so he's got that. And it. the logo, I, I, I love this logo, actually, because it looks very much like the logo for Secret Life of Pets. Mm -hmm. And it's just so clean and strong. So good. All right, we have a couple of commission scents. P these are scents that people have purchased in order to create with us. When you do a commission scent, you get to pick the theme. It does need to be based on a pop culture theme though. Um, you And it has to be basically a scent blend that we haven't really done before and a theme that we may not have also done before or part of our existing collection that we already have. Um, so when you do that, it's about, I think it's $20 now because we're only doing the cosplay uh, portion of the art. We're no longer doing full art, so yeah. it's a little bit less. Um, you get two bottles of your scent as part of your commission and you get to work with us in order to create the scent. You also get little samples before we go into production so that you can approve it and say, yes, this is exactly what I wanted, which when you, you do a creative set you don't get because you know yeah. honestly that's for us but a commission set that's for you we do sell it in the shop as well mm -hmm. um so the first one we have is a uh, a scent that is based on metroid and it is created by shannon she's actually a rep for me as well she made this for her friend if i remember her saying mm -hmm. correctly because her friend really loves metroid um and she calls it hunter and it is grapefruit, jasmine, and cotton. So she wanted it to be very fresh and very fruity at the same time. I really like when people create floral scents with us because floral is not me. I, yeah. I don't really have a good relationship with floral scents. But if we have to produce it, I would rather that somebody else have the idea yeah. for it and not me. Because so. we're not really going to think of floral as go-to. No. But this is a really good floral scent. It really is. Um, interesting... Like when you work around everything, she actually doesn't know. Shannon didn't didn't really know a lot about the Metroid franchise right. or the main character that but you, you see. But you do. Over. Yeah, I, I love that. Game. You do. Uh huh. So yeah. tell me about this character then, because I don't really know. Um. So when the original Metroid game came out, um, you were playing as Samus Aran, wearing a power suit, space bounty hunter going around killing aliens. Sounds like a great time. And then you get through it, and you know all of the artwork is just. Samus in body armor. Um, then you get to the ending, and if you beat it in a certain time period, she takes off the armor. It's a girl in there. 
And this is coming in a time period where girls were either damsels in distress or they had to be pretty magic users. Bleh. So having this awesome kick your butt chick, mm. that was revolutionary. Plus, I think if I remember correctly, when the amiibos first started coming out, they did have a Samus and people went crazy trying to get the Samus amiibo. I remember this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <sighs> Samus is just, she's an iconic character in video games for her role. Mm -hmm. And it actually means a lot to Shannon's friend who is trans. Awesome. So um, we have here in the artwork, we have uh, Colada dressed up in Samus's armor. Mm -hmm. And I, I actually really like that because we could have gone with one of the other like girl characters and it would have been like totally normal. But I feel like Colada is just, it's the right feel. Totally. And the scent is an interesting combination because when she's not in her power armor, Samus is actually rather effeminate. Mm. Um, she's just, when she's business mode, she makes things happen. And, if you guys noticed the uh, background too, um, I don't know if we have a lot of these, but this is the video game background trellis mm -hmm. uh, where it's like a two-toned thing. Mm -hmm. So can you speak a little bit about like how, what made you choose the two-tone? The It's actually not just for video games. It's the games trellis. So you have the top half, which is a, it's very faded, but there is a map in there. So it's like a Dungeons oh. and Dragons map. And okay. then the bottom half, it's got binary code for video games. So this gives you not just video games, not just board games, but both of them together. Um, I'm also thinking that we might have to change the background of a couple of the other ones because we have only one anime scent, but we have a lot of animation. That's true. So Our second commission scent that we have is made by Zelma. She is also one of our reps, and she wanted a scent that was uh, for her one of her foreign exchange students. So Zelma's job, which uh, is amazing, and I would love to be part of this in some way if we had more room, but her job is to basically place foreign exchange students in her area, um, in her district. She's, you know, she also gets other people to co help her coordinate, but she's over a very large area, and if I remember her saying correctly, her area is actually expanding because she's doing such an amazing job. Um, but she usually takes in about two, uh, of the foreign exchange students at a time per session. Um, and of course they become like her family. And, and one of the ones that she uh, had was Francesca and she was from, I believe, Italy. And so she wanted a scent that really uh, was the embodiment of Italy and how things smelled there. Um, so she picked, she really wanted an olive scent because it's very Mediterranean. Um, but so then she also wanted like a peaches kind of scent too. Originally we had thought of a different uh, blend and it just was not working. It didn't, it didn't smell very good at all. So she really, Zelma loves peaches. Okay. So everything that like she submits is pretty much like peach, peach, peach. I am not complaining. I also love peach. So we really thought this, while this seems like a really weird scent combination, olives and peaches, like really, it actually really works. Yeah. It really does. The olive really comes out in it this. It really does, yeah. And I, I like that. This makes it a really good kitchen scent. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a kitchen scent that isn't a bakery scent. Mm -hmm. It's a savory scent, which mm -hmm. is really good. Like, really good if, like, I know one of our reps likes to pour the scent down the disposal because it helps with the smells. This would be very good for that, for sure. Um, so, as you can see, the uh, artwork right here, it is called La Vida e Bella. Mm -hmm. And it is uh, based on what dreams may come. I've seen that movie quite a few times, Robin Williams. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful movie. But what what would she want for the artwork on here? Uh, here you have Robin Williams' character. I can't remember the name because uh, it's been a long time since I've seen this movie. Yes. But in in one of the scenes, like he uh, his since he's he's dead. Um, spoiler. Um, his wife's paintings are appearing in his afterlife as a way of like their connection with each other and he goes into one of these paintings and he's completely covered in paint and he's just like I'm so happy right now but then he goes off on a search to find her mm -hmm. um, and so you have Zane again um, and he is dressed up in that outfit coated in paint I had a lot of fun um, building texture on there because if you just threw color onto his suit, you wouldn't know what was going on. But if you look really closely on that artwork, you can see like it's dripping down. 
So for Hunter and La Vida y Bella, those scents are, do not have wax this month, but they do have the spray and the scrub that you can purchase that in. Thank you to Shannon and Zelma for working with us. And also Meg for Now Sit and Heather for Boy Meets World. See, we're very community oriented here. Yeah. Um, okay, so our next scent is actually what we call a surprise scent. It's basically a scent that we don't have really based on the collection or anything else. It's just something we're like, we want to do this. Yeah. Um, this one we just finished watching. It, it could be part of the TV show, really. Um, but not in the 2000s i don't know it's fairly recent even though it's not fairly recent yeah. um so we we have our scent expendable which is our star trek scent but we really wanted to do a scent based on discovery uh because we finished watching the two seasons of that is it two seasons yeah, yeah two, two seasons. seasons and uh we really want to do something because we really ended up loving the show even though when we first started watching the show we kind of got meh. Um, but then it got so much better I would say probably the seventh episode into yeah. the first season Stick it got around. amazing and so we uh yeah we watched it and our favorite character is Tilly and she's she's so great she's like this little nerdy chick who comes into her own and without her in the show the entire thing is just this big depressing downer, but you throw her into the mix mm -hmm. along with the other mechanic character. Um, they're just fun. Mm -hmm. They're so much fun. And she is amazing. Yes. Um, and in one of the episodes, um, they get this huge download of information from a living planet. And she's like, wow, it's like a slice of galaxy pie. So because of this slice of galaxy pie name, we actually had it before uh, we decided the scent. We decided the scent would be pistachio ice cream and pie. Now that actually draws back to something else. There is a scene. I'm not going to tell you who it's with, but where the person is eating, uh, I think it's Neapolitan ice cream, uh, Spumoni ice cream, and uh, with Tilly. And so we thought that it would be kind of interesting to have the pistachio and the ice cream in there. It was really hard for me to find a Spumoni, mm -hmm. like, scent base, but pistachio is the base of Spumoni, so we thought, okay, well, we'll just use that. And then, of course, we had to have pie on top of that. It smells... It smells like... There's fruit, and it smells like ice cream, and then it smells like pie. It's like three layers. Isn't it, it weird? It's good stuff. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, I, I could definitely have this in my room, and I'd be happy. That. Seriously, I mm. love this one also. Gah. Uh, so, uh, tell us about the artwork. Uh, here we have Ravenna, and she is dressed up as Tilly. Um, I think that's a, a great fit, because Ravenna, Ravenna is more of the nerdier of the girls. Mm. Um, and so, But at the same time, we are releasing the new artwork for Expendables, which has Jelly dressed up as a red shirt. Um, and it's not just any, like, it's not the classic red shirt. It's the version of the classic Enterprise red shirt that appears in Discovery. So it's kind of linking it all together. Mm. Um, and also, as you can see in this, Tilly is wearing her Discovery uniform. Mm -hmm. And I am so going as Tilly for Halloween this year. Um, I'm going to get, I found a shirt on Amazon that looks like it's the Discovery uniform. So... I'm I'm doing that. It's it's going to be should, my Halloween costume. Should I go as an albino Klingon? As, sure. Yeah. Definitely. All Definitely. Sorts of things on my face. Um, and, and for this one, you can get it in a wax as well. Uh, this month only. And, and speaking of wax, we do have two waxes that we are selling this month only in August. The first one is probably uh not as popular as the other one but it is very fall so we wanted to bring that we actually decided on our own that's friends waffles and work from the parks and rec collection and the other one we have is dapple apple which was our most requested one in our last poll um also very fall very halloween cinnamon apple donuts i mean we're getting into the fall people i cannot wait because it's my favorite time of year which means we're gonna bring out all of our halloween scents again all of our fall scents and all of our christmasy scents i'm so excited it's for all the these most cinnamon time 
Oh, yeah. oh, and fun fact, guys, you might want to stay with us, and this is a total sneak peek, and nobody knows, but we will, for the first time only, have pumpkin spice scent this year. Wait for it. It's coming. It's coming. We're joining that train. Anyway, so that is all of the uh, things that we have on sale that are new. Let's talk about highlights. So this month only, you will be able to get everything from our Marvel collection um, at a discount on the site. Also, any of our commission scents that from the past. So we have two windmills. We have um, To the Moon and Back. We have Hugo's Girl. Silver Screen Skyrim, Silver Screen Sirens, I can't say that. It's a tough one. Correctly. And Death by Stereo. Those five cents will also be available at Discounted on the site during the month of August. If you want to be a rep with us, then make sure you check down below. There is a link to apply for September, October. You guys do not want to miss October or September because it's really, it's, oh, I cannot wait. I'm so excited for these. Yes. Um, party week, it's in the group only, August 25th through the 30th. You're going to get some clearance stuff. You're going to get some new stuff on even more discounted. So make sure you join us in the Facebook group and that link is down below. So remember I told you uh, there are some things that we will be getting rid of. Um, and that will be, we are pair, we're starting to pare down our scent collections. And what that means is if there is a collection that doesn't really sell as well, and there's like four cents for that theme, we are cutting out those and we're only keeping the most popular. So for the month of August and September, this is going to be your last chance to purchase uh, the scents from the Walking Dead collection, which are Lucille and Carol's Cookies. We are keeping Born Leader. Um, from the Gilmore Girls collection, we are getting rid of A Thousand Yellow Daisies and Handsome Dan, but we are keeping Vicious Trolloth and Off We. Um, from the Parks and Rec collection, we are getting rid of Please and Thank You, and the pit, but we are keeping Treat Yourself and Friends Waffles and Work, which is what you see down there. And from the Buffy collection, we are only keeping Chosen One, and we are getting rid of Howl for two, and I'm just me. So all of those will be last chance up through the end of September, um, and then they will be gone. Bye. But I will have them discounted on the site for August as well. Um, let's, oh, let's talk about, we actually have two more things to talk about. So a lot of people, and I don't think we have any of these in this collection, but a lot of people, um, will see on our labels, we have a scent, a scent, and a dot, 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 yeah, and something okay. else. Um, and people have been like, I don't know what this smells like. Is this a blend? I don't get it. Like, okay, this has been happening for months and we have never really addressed it. So here, here it is, guys. When we want to be funny <laughs> about something... We use the dot, 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 and something else. So, so that for, something else is not really a scent blend. It's yeah. an idea. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, this first started with Expendable, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it was dot, 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 and a bit of luck. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we've done it in a few other ones, like Wayfinder. In a, in a slight way, we've kind of done it with Come On Sun. Mm -hmm. um, because you know that's right. You know that's right. We did it, yeah, we did it with Wayfinder, where it was like a promise... Um, yeah, there, there was, I think, one other one that we did do it with. It's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try to figure out what it smells like. It can smell like whatever you want it to smell like. But, um, it's just to be funny. So there you go. Um, our last thing that we wanted to talk about is next month, which, mm, with the exception of the holiday scents, probably is going to be my favorite month of all. Um, you, if you are friends with me outside of... I remember what things you yes um you will know that i love michael sure tv uh what i'm specifically speaking of is parks and rec <laughs> i don't to blink on that parks and rec is a michael sure show it's my favorite comedy show of all time i also love the office i love brooklyn 99 the good place and new girl so next month, we are actually doing one scent from The Office, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, The Good Place, and New Girl. And I am so excited. So it's, we're, we're calling it the Michael Scherniverse collection because he created all of these shows. And, and because <sighs> there's so many scents that we actually do have uh, once we finish this month mm -hmm. that use the Scherniverse 
area, we actually have a unique background just for the show notes. For that. And uh, as he keeps making other shows, we will add it. Um, there was a show he made called Abby's. We are not doing that one, by the way. It didn't do well. But the ones that start to get a lot of traction and are very popular, we probably will add those to it. So yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for the month of September. I felt like it was back to school and that's when all the shows start again. So it was a perfect time to do that. Michael scent. Shore, if you're watching, you are doing God's work, and I expect to see you in the good place. I, sw I swear, I can watch Parks and Rec, New Girl, and The Office over and over and over again, and it never gets old for me. Um, mm. I can't watch Good Place like that yet because it's not really done, and because I can't see all the seasons at once. Um, it's same it's with a Brooklyn show that, that deals, like, it has a lot of deep stuff going yeah. in there, and it's a lot in the background. Yeah. So you want to watch the whole thing and then watch it over again. So we're waiting to watch it through to exactly. the completion. So this is a super long video. So thank you for sticking with us. If you have stuck with us till the end, go ahead and put a comment down below. And I'm going to do a little random drawing giveaway. Nobody will know about unless you comment. Go ahead and comment hashtag slay spray. Bleh. Slay all day. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been watching, most of the Buffy slap, so. I've been I've been watching too much RuPaul Dryways. Okay, uh, <laughs> put down below hashtag spray all day to let me know that you want to be entered to win a little something uh, for fun. Or you know, if you if you feel like you you can also identify with Samus, go ahead and spray sachet. Shantae, you stay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and until next time. <laughs> stay zany. Bye bye. <laughs>